So despite the fact that Ed Markey won his race yesterday, there's one really disappointing thing and honestly kind of angering to be honest. It's a mix of both. Now, Massachusetts 4th Congressional District is actually the seat that Joe Kennedy was vacating upon going to challenge Ed Markey in the Senate. So unlike MA01 in which Alex Morse ran, it's not a neoliberal district. It's actually a pretty progressive district as seems to be indicated by this race period. So what ended up happening here is Jake Auchincloss has pretty much, he's taken the race, okay? This is over. There's no chance, I think, for Jesse Mermel to win. Even if Mermel is somehow to pull out a win, which she's not, it wouldn't change the point of this video. But as you can see, there's a lot of candidates for a non-jungle primary. This is not a jungle primary. In a jungle primary, all candidates of all parties run against each other, top two face off. But this is not a jungle primary, nor do they have ranked choice voting. And so what ends up going on now, Allen is not a progressive. He's more of a corporate Democrat guy. Jake Auchincloss is also a corporate Democrat guy who is briefly a Republican. He has kind of an edgster past as well, even as recent as 2016. And he's kind of like Joe Biden. He's a liar. It's just from a brief reading, apparently he opposed uh, back in 2016, renaming Columbus Day to Indigenous Peoples Day. And then he claimed that he had co-docketed um, a an act or something like that that would that would replace it, but it turned out upon investigation that that wasn't true. So he's actually a liar too. But if you go to his website, he does not support Medicare for all. And what's even more concerning is he says that he believes healthcare is a right, but he supports a public option, which means that he's a liar, which tells me he's lying about a lot of his stuff on his website. So I think he's actually even more conservative than his website even suggests, which is pretty concerning. But what's going on here, Jesse Mermel, Becky Grossman, Nat Natalia Linos, Isain Lecky, these are all progressives right here. And as you can see, they netted a ton of the vote, okay? You know, they netted a ridiculous amount of the vote, you know, whatever. That's 60, 70% of the vote right there that they picked up uh, combined. And they're all progressives. So Jesse Mermel is sort of a Ayanna Presley Democrat. That's who she was actually endorsed by. But, you know, you may dislike Ayanna Presley because of her not, you know, supporting Bernie Sanders. But the truth is, Ayanna Presley is better than 99% of the Democrats in Congress, period. Jesse Mermel is a supporter of Medicare for All. And from my reading of her Medicare for All support, it seems pretty genuine because the um, arguments seem to be legit and they, there actually seems to be a real attempt. Becky Grossman is another progressive. Natalia Linos is also a progressive. Isain Lecky was the number one pick for Bernie Sanders supporters. But the truth is that Isain should have dropped out. Now, we knew about this just a couple days ago, even. The poll polls had showed that uh, Akin Kloss was at 23 at first and Mermel was at 22%, okay? So, the polls show that Grossman was clearly in third place with 15%, which meant she basically had no chance. Lecky was at 11% in fourth place, which means she had zero chance of winning. And I guess... Linos was even lower than that, which it ended up being Linos ended up outperforming Lecky, I guess, in the race. Now, I saw people who were defending Isain saying, oh, she was in the race first. She shouldn't have dropped out. Yeah, she should. And this is a lesson that progressives need to learn. You can't split the vote off of each other and then let a Republican win. You can't do that. And so the onus should fall upon somebody if if the results are clearly showing, the polls are cl clearly showing you're in fourth or fifth place with like a 7% vote deficit, you should step out and endorse that progressive candidate. That's what you should have done. Elizabeth Warren should have done that with Bernie Sanders. And if Bernie Sanders were in the role that Elizabeth Warren was in the polls, Bernie Sanders should have done the same thing for Elizabeth Warren. That's the truth. Okay, but the, f the facts were Bernie was on the opposite end of that. He was on the end where he was on top. Okay, and so... One of these people should have endorsed Jesse Mermel, okay? Even if just one of them had done it, dropped out and endorsed Jesse Mermel, they would have won. But instead of doing that, they continue to run, and what you have instead is a corporate Democrat in office for two years. And honestly, this might make it so Joe Kennedy runs again in, t in just two years and takes over again. But we could have had, we could have kicked out Joe Kennedy, made history by defeating Joe uh, Kennedy for the first time in Massachusetts, and we could have picked up a pro M4A candidate, you know, who whoever wins this primary wins this race, by the way. It's a clear blue district in MA04, which is where Joe Kennedy left. We could have had a massive win, but instead progressives have to get narcissistic and dumb and lacking strategy and basic, you know, logic. 
um, the onus should be on someone like in the same like like okay, I have no chance of winning. I am going to for the better of the people and progressives and the progressive movement. I'm going to bow out and endorse Jesse Murmel because that's how we're going to win. And it's just simple strategy. That's what you have to do. That's how this works. So please stop doing this. Stop, progressives. I'm begging you. Stop. Stop doing this, okay? Stop eating off of each other and then allowing a Republican to win. And if you want these kinds of situations, at least have a jungle primary. At least switch to a jungle or may... I don't even know if a jungle would really help because this is a Democratic primary. But I've never seen a Democratic primary in a district race this crazy before. Um, or at least have ranked choice voting. But this is just... This is crazy talk. I mean, this is insane, guys. This is lunacy. This is craziness. You cannot be splitting the vote this hard and letting, letting a Republican win. So, for me, mixed feelings of depressed and angry because we let an easy one slip through our hands. We can't let we can't let congressional seats like this just slip through our hands. How are you gonna How are you gonna let an easy win go? That's like losing a basketball game because in the last seconds you literally missed a wide open layup. Think about how that would make. That's what I. That's what it feels like right now because that's what ended up happening. So. Please, man, I'm begging you, do not let this happen again.